What's going on? Scavalad here. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. This video I want to talk about when I was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome when I was 13. So when I was 13, I was diagnosed with Tourette's. I didn't think anything about it at the time. I was just going with the flow and I ended up getting diagnosed with it. Although it was mild and it's always been mild and I always hope that it's mild, it has still impacted my life. So I've basically had the same tics and twitches since then which is uh, an eye twitch. So I do this. I try and suppress this as much as I can because I don't like the way I look when I do it. And if you suppress it, then it just builds up and you just do it more. I have finger ones where I'm like, I twitch my fingers. I have the same thing for my toes. I twitch my toes, my stomach. I'll like uh, shake it or like tense it up. And when I was young, that really hurt. Like it hurt a lot in my chest and i was in a lot of pain a lot when i twitched when i was younger not as much anymore but i still do twitch and i bite my teeth that's a new one that i've had a little bit or i'll grunt <clears throat> like that like a frog my own friend thought it was a i was a frog during a movie she's like stop making that frog noise and i told her she's like oh shit you didn't know those when your twitches because i hide it from everybody and like for the eye one i'll cover my eye or something or i'll fix my glasses when i'm twitching and hope people don't notice but it's been a struggle. It definitely keeps me up a lot at night, especially when I'm stressed and overthinking and I'm twitching a lot and it's hard to relax. And there's some things that I've found that help me relax, especially when I used to be like a huge stoner. I completely stopped twitching, but the negatives of smoking weed affected me too much where I couldn't smoke weed and relax that way. But ultimately, I've, I've learned to almost embrace it and accept that that's how it is right now doesn't mean i'm always gonna have huge amount of ticks and like let them control me as much as they do and that's the goal you know to ultimately reduce the ticks and as much as i don't believe in the label of like mental health diagnoses and all the time that is a fact that i do twitch i do have ticks i have ocd which encompasses encompasses tourette's I don't have outbursts. I do have like a uh, a very open filter a lot of the time. So I'll say a lot of what's on my mind, which uh, sometimes affects me, you know, <laughs> or other people. But I'm not like extreme where I'm like, fuck off, fuck off. Or I, you're ugly, like stuff like that. It's mainly the, the ticks and the twitching and uh, the OCD where you have to like touch things a few times. Or you have to keep checking things. So that does affect me, you know. But I've learned to, the more you accept it and grow with it, the easier it becomes. It's still stressful and it, it makes me anxious sometimes. Or like, I feel insecure in public. Or when someone new meets me. And it's funny when kids come up and they're like, why are you winking at me? Or they call your Twitch out and you just tell them. And they're like, okay, they accept it. They don't care. Their their kids are curious, so they're they're wondering. Or even adults say that sometimes. I'm like, yeah, I twitch. They're like, okay. It's not like people actually give a shit. Except when you go to like a bar or something and it, and it happens to be a, a, a Coke bar. I don't do Coke. But like the city where I live, a lot of people do cocaine. And they look like a tweaker. Like I'm like... And it's like, oh, he's fiending for his drugs. No, no, I'm not. But that's just what I, <laughs> I've experienced. And... uh it's been tough. And I saw that video the other day of Louis Capaldi. I like him because I sing his songs at karaoke nights because I host karaoke and I go to other people that sing karaoke or that host karaoke. And one of the videos where he's performing one of his popular songs, and then the whole crowd sings because he's having like an outburst of ticks and twitches. And that's a good video, you know, because like people are supporting him and a few other celebrities have Tourette's and, uh, it doesn't uh, stop me from living my life. Like, I'm I'm big on fitness. I'm a, a big, muscly guy. I like to think that it shouldn't affect my relationships. It shouldn't affect who I'm becoming, making money, building relationships, being super spiritual sometimes, uh, being a good person, helping people, having cats, as you can hear, and ultimately uh, just, like, being a normal person, except it's hard sometimes when... You're twitching a lot. You're stressed a lot because your twitches all like consume you sometimes and you just want it to kind of end. But 
I'm going to be filming some other videos on how you can reduce ticks and what's helped me besides like when I was smoking weed because that completely helped. But I also went psychotic from that and other drugs. So there's, you know, um, but yeah, like certain things that can help you reduce the ticks. I want to go in more in depth on uh, like meditation and mindfulness. Uh, what else? Meditation, breath work, cold plunges, exercise, things that basically reduce stress are going to reduce your ticks. And if I'm ticking more or twitching more, then I know why I'm stressed. Come here. But anyways, this is just a, a update video of uh, what I want to be talking about and what I'm going to be talking about a little bit. You know, more mental health, spirituality, Tourette's, fitness, health, and uh, hopefully I can help some people out. Anyways, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment if you have Tourette's or if you want to know more about Tourette's. I'm going to be posting more, so love you. Peace.